Hi, welcome to the video Spring Boot REST API Validate Path Variables with me, Nam Ha Ming from Code Javronet. In this video, I'd like to share with you how to write code that uh, validates uh, path variables or path parameters of REST API request with Spring Boot Starter Validation. And you will also learn how to customize error response uh, with the global exception handler in case the uh, API request uh, have invalid values for the path uh, variables. So what is uh, path variable or path parameter in REST API request? Uh, consider this uh, REST API request uh, pattern, you see, uh, delete slash api slash v1 slash students uh, slash and id is the placeholder or the path uh, variable or path parameter of the request and here are some concrete uh, request URIs with the uh, concrete values uh, for the path variable id you see in this uh, first uh, request, the value of student ID is ID1. And in, in the second URI, the value for ID is ABC. And in the third uh, URI, 0 is the value of the path parameter. And the last uh, URI, uh, a negative value, minus 1 to 3 for student ID. So you can see only the first request URI has a valid value for student ID, which is a positive integer number. Uh, suppose that uh, we uh, only accept the values for student IDs um, integer, uh, positive integer numbers. So the three uh, request URIs have invalid values for the path uh, variable ID. ABC is a, a text, not a number. Zero is not a positive number. Minus one to three is a negative number. So in REST API development, uh, we want to um, handle uh, this kind of invalid uh, values in the REST API request. And in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how with a, a Spring Boot project. So if an API client sends a request like this with the value for the path variable, student ID is a string ABCDEF. Of course, this value is invalid. So we want that the API, the server, returns the status code 400 uh, indicating uh, the request is a bad request and the response body is a JSON document that represents error details such as timestamp, status, uh, error message and the path of the request. Another example, uh, for example, if the API client sends a request with an uh, with a negative value for student ID, then the API, the server should return the status code for OO bad request and the error details like this uh, with a custom error message. Uh, student ID must be a positive integer number. Alright, so I have an existing Java Spring Boot uh, project here and this is the uh, student API. You can see the base URI is slash, slash API slash we want slash uh, students. And uh, I want to uh, validate uh, the path parameter of the delete operation here you can see in this uh, delete operation it has a path parameter named id that uh, represents id of the student and um, the handler in the handler method delete one here it has a parameter of type integer 
that binds to this uh, path uh, variable using the path uh, variable annotation. All right. And in this uh, project, I um, already used a global exception handler here, but it is uh, for handling uh, method argument not valid uh, for a request uh, body. Uh, request uh, body valid annotation here. Okay, let me start this uh, Spring Boot uh, application to test the current uh, student API, test the delete uh, student operation. Okay, the server is up and uh, running. Okay, and I use uh, curl in come line to test the delete uh, student API. Curl x delete send a delete request localhost. Mm, sorry, uh, let me test the list uh, students API first. Uh, this one to see the um, available students localhost API. Sure last if you want. Sure last students. And you see there are two students here. Yeah. Let me format the response. You see uh, student with ID one and uh, the second student with ID two. All right. Now I call the delete student API. So I specify the request method is delete and then the URI like this API slash v1 slash students and I enter an invalid value for the path variable ID here a string not a number okay and you can see the default error response from the server here you see bad request status uh, 400 you see it uh, throws a method argument type uh, mismatch exception but i want to uh, customize the error response like this uh, with the error details such as timestamp status code error and path okay so let me show you how for this kind of error you can uh, write a handler method in the in this uh, global exception handler like this public object handle handle um, request um, validation exception request path variables okay and here we need to use the exception handler annotation and specify the type of the uh, uh, exception uh, we want to handle uh, which is method argument type mismatch exception method argument type mismatch exception not class and use the response uh, body annotation yeah so it uh, will return a JSON uh, with it uh, will buy the object return in this method directory into the web response and we need to use a response status to specify the response status code HTTP status but request okay and in the body of this method sorry in the method uh, parameters we specify the exception and 
HTTP server request object uh, that represents the current request HTTP server request request okay and I create a map object string is a type of the key and object is a type of the value response uh, body equal new linked hash map and return the response uh, body object and we put some key and value pairs that represent the error details here timestamp status error and path so we put the first key and value is uh, this one body put timestamp is the current date and time okay and the second key and value pair is uh, for the status code we specify the status code but request not value to so use the integer value of uh, HTTP status and the next uh, error information is the error message error which is a message of the exception and the last key and value pair is a path of the request we get a path from the request object get sublet path okay okay and test again okay i call this uh, uri again and now you see we got our customized uh, error response you can see the error details uh, have the fields timestamp status error message failed to convert value of time java lang string to java lang integer path of the request okay so this is the first case we uh, validate the value of the path variable okay and in the second case uh, we want to validate uh, that the value of student id must be a positive number so you need to uh, we need to update the handler method here in the rest controller class here you can see this is a parameter that binds to the path variable id and to validate value of this path variable we can use uh, this annotation from uh, jakarta uh, validation contain positive you see you see it imports the annotation from jakarta dot validation dot constraints yeah okay and then we also need to use the validated annotation for the rest controller class uh, validated annotation from this uh, package okay you see okay and let me test the case that i passed a, um, a negative value for student id for example minus one two three and we got the error response like this internal server error with status code 500 and you can see it throws the exception Jakarta dot validation dot constraint violation violation exception as you can see in the console here and you can see the error message must be greater than zero this is a result of the constraint annotation positive which we used here and this is a the default error message is here you can see must be greater than zero 
So in the global exception handler class, we need to handle this uh, exception type constraint uh, violation exception. So we can also handle the second exception in this uh, handler method constraint uh, violation exception like this dot class okay and then we specify a custom message for this uh, validation message equal you want to uh, specify the message is still an ID must be a positive integer number student ID must be a positive number okay and test again okay I call the URI again all right now it works you see you see you see the error response here timestamp status uh, 400 and you can see the error message uh, the handler method name the path uh, variable name and then the message student ID must be a positive number and the path of the request okay so that means the validation works and now let me check is a list of students we have two students with id1 and id2 now i call the delete operation api with a valid value for the student id for example i want to delete the student with id1 and specify the v flag to see the verbose verbose output okay you see the status code of the response is 204 no content that means the uh, api call is successful and if i call the list uh, students api again and um, the student id1 was uh, deleted you see let me test the validation of student id again you see the error response here okay so that you have learned how to validate path variables or path parameters or press api request uh, with spring boot starter validation let me sum up the key steps you need to follow uh, firstly uh, you can use uh, the validation constraint annotations for method parameters that uh, by to path variables in uh, handler methods and then use the uh, validated annotation for the rest controller class and then uh, handle the method argument type mismatch exception and constraint violation exception in the global exception handler class you can use the uh, validation constraint annotations from uh, Zakata bin uh, validation API here or from hybrid uh, validator constraints here you see i hope you found this uh, video helpful please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thanks for watching